with an AI text generator. And I didn't write a single line of code. Everyone's talking about AI like it's the future of everything. AI, AI, AI. Here to uproot your life, change the way you live, and yeah, also bring about the end of humanity. But are we overestimating the value of AI? Here, boys, a lost clanker. Here's the uncomfortable truth. We're probably in an AI bubble, and the data proves it. Even Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, recognized that investors are a little overexcited about AI. This is not a debate about whether or not AI is important. There are numerous applications of the technology that will adjust how we function as a society. That much is for certain. But when exciting new technologies emerge, history usually repeats itself. In, uh, Dow 10, the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped more than 900 points. And ordinary investors caught in hype can lose significant <clears throat> wealth. So firstly, what do I mean by a bubble? It's when excitement and money run away ahead of the actual results. Stocks soar, investments pour in, but the technology itself isn't quite delivering on the promises. Importantly, valuations of companies become much larger than their intrinsic value. All right, so why should you even care about this? I mean, maybe you're not even invested in AI, or you've made so much off of Nvidia that you're in the Bahamas on your yacht, and you couldn't give a damn about what some guy on YouTube is saying. Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Bubbles will lose you a lot of money or bring you significant wealth if you're patient. So let me explain. The most recent event of this nature was the dot-com crash. The dot-com boom promised revolution and then eventually delivered on one, but not before the Nasdaq lost 78% of its value between March 2000 and October 2002. In the 1990s, internet adoption exploded with US household computer ownership jumping from 15% in 1990 to 35% in 1997. Cheap capital and tax breaks poured fuel on the fire, while investors piled into anything with AI <coughs> Sorry, I mean, dot com in the name. Sending the Nasdaq up 400% by 2000 and inflating price to earnings ratios to levels never seen before. When reality set in, nearly $5 trillion in market value vanished, leaving behind a cautionary tale about hype outpacing fundamentals. Okay, so let's actually look at the numbers. In 2025, Meta, Microsoft, Google, and Amazon are projected to spend over $344 billion on AI infrastructure, mostly on gigantic data centers and high-end chips. That's more than the entire nominal GDP of countries like Chile and approaching that of Ireland. Factories are going up all over. These are the AI factories, massive server farms consuming power, cooling, and real estate. Because scaling AI demands physical infrastructure, not just lab codes. The race is now about betting on hardware as much as it is on algorithms, prompting Nvidia to see a 1300% return in the past five years. That's approximately a 26 times better return than the S&P would return on average, which is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so life is great. Those numbers are outstanding, so where's the issue? So here's the kicker. MIT's Media Lab just released their NANDA report on the state of AI in business. After billions poured into generative AI pilots, the results are basically brutal. 95% of companies saw no measurable return. So think about that. 95 cents of every dollar lit on fire. Only about 5% of pilots made it into real production with an actual impact on the bottom line. And this isn't some tiny sample. The study dug into over 300 AI initiatives, interviewed dozens of executives, and surveyed hundreds of senior leaders. Across the board, the message was the same. Massive hype, very little follow through. And why? Because most of these projects aren't being built into the workflows where they'd actually matter. They're flashy demos, PowerPoints, or one-off tools for sales and marketing. Meanwhile, the hard, messy work of integrating AI into the backbone of businesses gets ignored. So while Wall Street is throwing money at this AI revolution, inside the companies themselves, the revolution isn't showing up in the numbers. And the infrastructure costs are absolutely staggering. Data centers now consume about 1.5% of all global electricity, roughly the output of a mid-sized country. According to the International Energy agency, that figure could more than double to nearly 3% by 2030 if current trends continue. In the US, electricity prices have already surged, up nearly 30% since 2021. Analysts warn that the AI arms race is one of the drivers behind those higher bills as power-hungry data centers compete with households and businesses for limited grid supply. There is a serious disconnect with respect to the valuation of these companies. How can a company that loses money on every API call be worth more than Costco or even most of the world's banks? OpenAI is currently valued at around $300 billion following its most recent $8.3 billion funding round. And OpenAI is not alone. Across the country, the giants... Meta, Amazon, Microsoft, and Google have poured an estimated $560 billion into AI since 2024, while raking in only about $35 billion in AI-specific revenue. That's a 16 to 1 spending to revenue gap. If this feels a little bit familiar, that's because we've gone through this before. In the late 90s, companies added the dot com to their names and doubled their valuations overnight. Today, just slap AI powered on a press release and the same thing happens. The patterns are identical. Massive capital spending, wild promises. Even Sam Altman admits that people are overexcited about this kernel of truth. The internet was real, but most dot com companies weren't. 
AI is real too, but most AI startups probably won't survive the correction. The lesson here is that the bubbles don't kill technology, they kill the excess. After the crash, the Nasdaq didn't recover to its 2000s highs for 15 years, but the survivors grew into trillion dollar companies. In today's AI boom, we should expect the same. The AI bubble is definitely real and the data proves it. Trillions spent, minimal returns, unsustainable energy costs. But just like the internet, AI isn't going away. What will pop is the hype, the inflated valuations, and the impossible promises. The crash will be painful, but what emerges will hopefully be strong and resilient companies. The question isn't whether the bubble will burst, it's what we'll build from the wreckage. But I'm just some guy, prone to my own echo chamber. The friends and work colleagues around me, retail investors excited for the future, with real money that they have worked hard for tied to this new technology. When the house of cards collapses, everyday people can be hurt by the speculation and greed.